Hey my friend, it's Duke. In this lesson, let's talk about how we can use something we call a segue to transition from one view controller to another view controller. So here is the app will, how the app will looks like after this training. We have a tail view, the master screen, that when we click into that, we transition into the detail screen of a product, right? We have a product tail view controller, a tail view that displays a bunch of Apple products. And then when we click into one product, we show the details of that product. You are going to use this feature a lot. It's called segue. Show segue that you said segue. It's kind of like a bridge of things, right? For example, uh, let's say, if I have anything here, okay. I have like a water bottle, right? My fancy, bring the joy water bottle. And then I have my iPhone. And then kind of like we have uh, a bridge, right? We have a bridge from here to here. And then we have that segue is like from one view controller to another view controller. Incredibly simple. So I hope that you enjoy this one. Let's go ahead into the demo and let's get to it. All right, let's open up your Xcode and let's transition from our master screen into a detailed screen like this. And what we want to do is using two things. Number one, a segue. A segue, imagine that is like a bridge from one thing to another. Here, a segue is a bridge from one view controller to another view controller. So here we have this thing is the product tail view controller, and this thing is the product detail tail view controller. So let me go over, oh, we're in progress, and we transition from the product TVC to the product tail view controller. So let's go ahead and open up the main store board over here. Okay, now number one, because we are testing out this. Uh, static tail view so we make it the initial view controller now let's move this initial view controller back into the navigation controller like that and then what we want to do is we want to be able okay we want to be able to transition from this guy into this guy okay so how can we do that what we can do is i will create a custom show segue from this view controller into this guy. So click into this guy, this uh, this view controller, and then hold the control key, drag it from this guy into this view controller, release it. And you will see that we have some manual segue. Again, a segue is just like, oops, right, did we wrong, command Z. A segue is just like a bridge from one view controller to another view controller. So let's select our show segue here. A show segue is you literally show it. So you will slide from left to right on a navigation controller. You see this guy? This is a show segue. You slide from right to left, another view controller, onto another view controller in a navigation controller. So imagine that this navigation controller is like a stack of card that you have. So this stack of card has a bunch of cards or a bunch of view controllers. And then the up at, um, the, at most or the top view controller is going to be the visible view controller, the view controller that you see. And whenever you want to put another view controller onto the top, you just show it. You just put that using the segue like this all right and then in order to do this we need a an identifier for this segue because there is many chances that you are going to have multiple segues from one view controller to a different view controllers so let's click into let's click um let's click this segue go over the um the what's that the identifiers the what's that the attribute inspector and then the identifier here let's click into this and change the identifier into our shell product detail like that and copy this okay okay now i'm going to go over our product table view controller this is the master screen this is this guy over here our product table view controller and what we can do is whenever someone tap into our cell, we can know that. Whenever someone tap into our cells like this, we show the thing. So 
we can move above below here and then let's have a mark here called UI tail view delegate UI tail view delegate and we can implement a method called tail view that select row at the index path so whenever someone select a row at this index path this method will get called by the system make sense so here because this guy is selected this row just gets selected whenever i select it like this and I release my mouse or release my finger then this guy will get um, this will get selected will get called so number one i'm going to get let the product line to be our product lines subscript index path dot section and then let's the product let's the product to be our product lines dot line dot product like this and then we subscript index path dot row right so this product is that index path next thing I want to store this product into something like a variable called selected product which is a product like this because remember that when we transition into this product detail tail view controller we have to give it the product that we want to display so we want to store this selected product all right so let's have selected product to be our product over here and then the last step is we have to trigger our segue. The way you do that is you count a method called perform segue, perform segue with the identifier. And the identifier here is our show product detail. The identifier that we set for our main storyboard. Remember this guy? Show product detail. All right. Now, the sender here, you can pass in anything that you want to have the sender, but here I want to use nil because I already have the selected product. Cool. Now, the next step is when this guy transition into this guy, we have a chance, we have a chance to prepare for the segue. So when you like cross over that bridge, you have a chance to walk over that bridge. Right? So before that, we have, let's have a mark here called navigation. And here, I'm going to do prepare, uh, I'm sorry, uh, what's that? Prepare for segue, like this. This is a method, prepare for segue. Now, why do we want to do this? Well, this method, here is the whole workflow of this thing, okay? Number one, when I select into the product, this is, by the way, the complete project, not the project right now when i select the row like this this method will get called the select row at index path and then we get the product line we get the product at that index path from our product data source and then i store the selected product and let's say that hey perform the segue with this identifier meaning hey transition into this screen like that make sense now what the system will do is that it will create number one the screen over here number two our in our code the product detail tail view controller and number three it will transition into your product detail screen and this prepare method will get called this prepare method will get called now pay attention that this prepare method is get called after our views here is created and after the product detail tail view controller is created that's why we can assign the properties into that thing and we can show that thing all right so now here i can check if the segue if the segue dot identifier equals equals to the shell product detail because maybe we have different uh, identifiers we want we have different segways and then we can have let our product detail TVC tail view controller is equals to the segway dot destination the destination here is the destination view controller that the segway is going from 
So this is the source view controller of the Segway. And then when we click to that, and we show this guy is the destination view controller. It makes sense, right? All right. And then with destination view controller. Now, when you hold the option key, click into the destination, it is a generic, a generic UI view controller. So we have to cast it down as a product detail table view controller. And now, when we have the product detail table view controller, we know that we can now assign the product over here. So we, let me delete this thing. This is just for testing purposes. So we delete that. Now we can do is product detail TVC dot product to be our selected product. All right. And that's it. That's really it. So now let's run the app and see how it looks like. Let's run the app and see how it looks like. Let me actually hide this thing. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. Now when I click into this guy, boom. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's, it's pretty cool. And then we have, let's say, the iPhone. And we have the image, we have the title, we have all of these beautiful UI. And you see that we have that guy. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Okay, so that, you have it, how you do transition from the product table controller or the master screen into a detail screen. All right, my friend, that is that lesson number nine down. We have only one left. That is, I'll share with you where to go from here. But before we do that, congratulations. Congratulations. You might get to the final training lesson of this course so far. Our own things UI tail view series course. Wow. I'm impressed because you know what? From our statistics, we know it. From across the board, for every online courses, either it is like a $10 course, a free course, or $10,000 course, most people who sign up for a course never go through the course. Most people who buy a book never read through the first chapter, but you are here. You just complete this course and I want to, want to congratulate you and you should be proud of it, you know, because you are among the few who really take it seriously, that you want to transform your skills, you want to you know, reach the next level of skills and personal development and growth. I congratulate you on that and I'm honored that you are here with me and you let me to serve you, you let me to train you in this course and again, if you love to go to the next level with me, if you love even more advanced and dive deep training with me, in the next lesson, I would love to share with you one program that I have called Total RS Blueprint. That is by far the most comprehensive training, RS development training program in the world. And most people just love it. People go bananas when they complete the course. It's incredible. We build 11 apps together. We have code changes, we have video tutorials, we have resources and everything for you and you will love it. So in the next lesson, I share with you how I can help you build 11 iOS apps and help you become a world-class developer. Until then, go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas and contribute to the world. I see you in the next one.